What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we have a quick game for you in Baldur's Gate 3 on where to find the Susia Bark for the Finish the Mastercraft Weapon Quest. Now if you haven't got this quest, you've stumbled across this video, you can find this quest on the east side of the first map. So you can see there, west of Emerald Grove, sorry, west side, not east side. You want to go into this well here. Alternatively, I don't know if you can or not, but there is a door over where I'm standing right now that you may be able to pick lock. I don't know if you can open it from this side because this is where you come out once you go down the well. Either way, you want to go down the well and you will see you are down here in the Whispering Depths. What you want to do is come all the way to the east over to this small house down here and you will find there are a couple of chests. One of them is on the raised platform, so you may have to jump up with your strong guy, drop it down to the thief or whatever. It's in either one of these chests or one of the random books you'll find floating around here somewhere. So just use the alt key, read the books, check the chests and you will get the quest. Now the quest asks you to do a number of things. Firstly, we need to get the Susia Bark. So to get that, in order to get that, we have to go to the Underdark. Now, there's other ways you can get there much later. If you want to get there now, all you've got to do is, again, head to the same place, the Vited Village on the west, and you want to go down the same well you did before where you meet the spiders. So there's a bunch of spiders down here, a spider boss. Right next to where you fight the spider boss, there's this large green pit. Now, you're going to need Featherfall or something like Fly. I don't know if Fly works. Featherfall definitely does. Um, you can pick a scroll of it up or your wizard should learn it. Jump down the hole and you will end up in the Underdark. Once you're in the Underdark, you'll end up over here somewhere roughly near the uh, the colony. There's other ways you can come in, as you can see, but I haven't got those yet. You want to head to this location here. So this is where the Susia tree fast travel point is. And you need to work your way up to the branches to the big trunk of the tree. And this is quite obvious. It tells you the trees here. It tells you the bark is there, but it's really well hidden. And if you don't highlight it, it doesn't show up. So it's this tiny piece of wood right on this branch here, right on the buckle of the tree. So pick that one up. That gives you the Susia wood. All you then need to do is to make the weapon. So you go back again to the Blighted Village, go in the door I showed you to begin with, and that will bring you back to the place where you got the quest. Basically, there is an anvil and a forge inside, and all you have to do is do that. So you use the forge, you power it up with the wood that you've got. You use the pushy thing, bellows, I think they're called. I don't know. Uh, that will activate it all and you can click it and make your weapon. So you can only put three weapon types in there. I think it tells you, I think it's a dagger, a great sword and a sickle. Anything else doesn't work. So depending on what weapons you guys are using, you'll want to do one or the other. I think you can only find one. So just pick the one out. I chose the dagger. It was okay. Um, you'll replace it relatively quickly. But there you go, guys. Nice and quick, nice and easy. Get when you can get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.